God. Where is my tent supposed to go? Okay, whatever. What's up guys and welcome back to part two of BC. I am currently in Golden, BC and we're about to camp. Just got here like literally two minutes ago. Okay, let me rewind. If you guys didn't know, I decided to take a three week trip to BC and it's ending on the island with my family. I wanted to do a bit of a road trip with Bentley through the Rockies first and if you guys didn't see part one, it's already up so I will leave a link to it down below or pop it up on the screen. We just went from Kelowna to here in Golden. It's about four hours north. camping for two nights and then after this we're going to Banff to do like a spa and just like a luxury two nights so we're gonna slum it for two nights here in the wilderness I'm trying to decide right now where I want to put my tent and to be honest I kind of want to put it where the car is only because then you can see the mountains but I'm thinking that this is where it was meant to go do you see that box thing <sighs> oh my god I have to actually build this tent now so let's do it morning and welcome to day two of camping um last night got so freaking cold holy so this morning i woke up jumped in the car with bentley turned on the heat and went and got a coffee from mcdonald's i had to drink a black because nowhere here has almond milk genuinely kind of enjoy black coffee went over to the front lobby of this place so i could move my campsite the campsite that we're actually in right now is right over there but it's supposed to be even colder tonight so I asked if we could move here to this one that I just had my morning coffee at that looks at these mountains and at these mountains. And it just gives us more, you know, mountain views and more sun time and more Bentley. Don't pee on the car. Bentley just peed on our rental car. We're gonna move our campsite over and then I'm gonna get ready and I think we're gonna go drive to some sort of lake for a hike today, I don't know. I'm also gonna need to find a blanket or a sleeping bag at some point today. Go we'll grab our tent. Some days there's no one else who loves me like you used to. Some days I'm not myself. There's no one I can turn to. And I know. woke up for the most amazing nap guys to this view 
I was having like the weirdest dreams while I was napping because I could still kind of tell that I was in a tent or like that I was just sleeping in like outside work I was having dreams about the fact that I was like floating above my tent it was really weird I did not sleep that well last night so I needed that little nap um we got more blankets so hopefully we're warmer but honestly if it was warm I would have kept the whole trip. This has been my favorite part so far. It's just something about being in nature right now that's really warming my soul. Next plan is to um, drink this kombucha while I make us another fire for the night. This time I got three bundles of wood to last me through the night and then we'll roast some veggie dogs. Hey, and some vegetables. What do you think? I mean, Bentley has his kibble, but a weenie for a wiener. <laughs> Obviously, I still need my sleep. Just take a second. Oh my god. We officially made it to Banff and just. What is this view? Is this real? So we just made it to our room in Banff. We are currently staying at the Fairmont, which is literally an old castle. It is like the coolest hotel ever. I cannot wait to go explore and just like check it out and stuff. First things first, because we literally came straight from camping, I am going to just completely refresh my existence. I loved camping. Two nights was perfect though. I definitely need a good shower. I need some good grub. I need to like wash my face and my teeth and just everything and start fresh. So that's what I'm gonna do. While I order myself some room service to the room, I think I'll go out for dinner tonight. Uh, take myself out for some sushi or something. Apparently the restaurants here are amazing. I'm gonna snap my fingers real quick and look hella refreshed. And then we'll go from there. Saw this really cute like sleep shop and it had a bunch of sleepwear. So I bought this really cute robe and I also bought this soy candle it's called among the tall trees and it smells so good woodsy smell which is like reminded me of this entire trip i feel like a new person so now i'm gonna order myself some food i'm pretty hungry i'm thinking i want to get a salad and a hummus plate and then just chill and exist and get some work done can i get the green salad and then the hummus plate as well oh um can i get the chips salsa and guac instead then please grab a glass of uh, rosé as well Yep, that's it. Thank you so much. Bye. That just happened. A few moments later. Catherine just sent me back the edits for Catchers. My whole plan for tonight is to not leave this hotel room, which when you're truly in a Hogwarts castle, you really, you really don't want to leave your room. But I'm about to do a huge grind. So I need to try and get it back to her, either saying like there's things I still want to change in it or there's things that we're good to go with by tonight. So my whole plan is to stay in this robe, stay in this hotel room, throw on some tunes and just literally read through Catcher, start to finish just tonight. Any of you guys out there that are also bookworms, this is not out of the norm. Like this is something that I would totally do as a teenager. Fill up a bathtub, get inside and just read a book from start to finish and then end up crashing at like 3 a.m. And those are some of like my favorite nights when I think about being, you know, a teenager. If there's anywhere I had to be to get this work done, this would definitely be the place. Let's do it. Happy Sunday! 
So it's actually pretty late in the day now. It's getting pretty close to noon. And I spent this morning still working on Catcher. When I went to sleep, I ended up going to sleep at about like 3 a.m. I got about halfway through the book and when I fell asleep, I woke up this morning after having a dream. And in the dream, my papa came to me and asked if he could have my book for his birthday. It was funny because when I woke up this morning, I was thinking about how I was supposed to get basically the book back to Catherine, my editor, last night. I just felt this like overwhelming like right feeling to just push the official launch date for the 7th which is my papa's birthday and so in a weird way I feel like he kind of came into my dream on purpose I still have to get it to her by the end of tonight so I'm gonna read at dinner and at lunch but I think like 60 pages left to read so blah. in the meantime I still have to get a podcast done and I have to film a video today it's about noon right now and I don't want to waste the only day that we have in BAM that said we have another thing going on on top of all of this and it is that Bentley has bitten open some of the bug bites that he has towards his tail. I feel so bad for him. You can tell he's just so uncomfortable. I can just tell he's just, his bum is so itchy that it's bothering him. Into town and try and hit up a pet store to see if I can get some sort of cream just to put on the bites, which will also give me a chance to maybe check out a cafe. So I'm gonna head into town, give you guys a little bit of a virtual tour of Banff while I do, and then we'll see where the day takes us from there. if there's any availability to extend my stay an extra night. That's perfect, thank you so much. Goodbye. I only just got to explore Banff for like an hour, but there's so much that I wanna do, including the trail I was just walking on. I really wanna go for a run on that tomorrow. And I also need to go visit my aunt who's two hours away sleep one more night here, then wake up and head back towards Vancouver Island. So I figured, you know what, if there's anywhere I'm gonna extend my stay for an extra night, I could do two nights in Salmon Arm and three nights in Banff. I feel like that, I feel like, yeah. So I'm about to go under and get some work done and I'll pop back up for dinner and update you guys then. Also update, we found some itch cream for Bentley, in case you guys are curious. I'm gonna make you feel a little better, bug. I hear voices. I love that Bentley is just chilling in the background of this. So Bentley and I just made it to our Airbnb. We had to drive for about five hours today and we tried to go to Lake Louise and I'm so upset, but it poured rain and I paid for a park pass and they had no parking. So then they made you go down and try and take a shuttle up, but then you couldn't take your dog. Like it was just, just concluded that Lake Louise is something that I'm just gonna have to come back to the West Coast for. It actually is really upsetting because Lake Louise was one of the top places I really wanted to go. I just didn't want to stress today. And so here I am, here we are. Sorry. Bentley's bug bites are much better, and aside from that, what else have I missed? Oh, yesterday I went and visited my aunt in Invermere. I didn't end up vlogging too much because yesterday was just mainly, I, I literally drove to Invermere and back to Banff. All the guys that worked at the hotel, they all had like accents and they were beautiful. The whole time I was just like, hey, get your work done. And then tomorrow we leave to go to Whistler. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog with a last little update right here. This Airbnb we're staying at, it's in Salmon Arm, which is pretty much in between Banff and Whistler. We have about another four and a half hour drive tomorrow, I think. But tonight I am cooping up with Bentley. There's no Wi-Fi in this cabin. I think I'm gonna turn off my phone, turn off all the cameras. I think Banff has maybe been so far my favorite 
heart just because I felt like I was in Hogwarts the whole time. Also camping, all of it, all of this trip. I feel like I always go on these spiels with you guys where I'm like, I'm changing. It's because I think that it's good to constantly evolve and change. I don't think I ever wanna go backwards. I always wanna progress forwards. This trip in general is something that I needed so badly. I feel like it's not that I'm necessarily changing. I just feel like I'm really healing. A lot of just like going down to the, to the roots of nature, like camping, we did not have utensils, okay? I was pulling those veggie dogs off the skewer, dipping it in mustard and just literally eating it with my fingers. Like I, I went right back to the basics and then went to the opposite extreme and went to the Fairmont and Banff where we got room service and luxury. It was great. It was incredible actually. It was, it feels like I'm in a dream working on a book that's about dreams. It's just, I can't, I can't. This trip has been the most incredible gratifying feeling because this is the first time in my life. Like I've done solo travel before, but this is the first solo travel. I think Bentley helps a lot. I don't feel like there's somebody missing from this trip. I feel like I'm just in such a good place to just be on my own, you know? So this Airbnb in particular has a birdhouse. Oh yeah, and we're literally like in a cabin in the middle of the woods. Kind of sounds like the beginning of a horror flick, but after all of the adventuring we've already done on this trip, nothing really scares me anymore. Plus there's a hammock and there's a hot tub. I'm just gonna chill out if I had to sum everything up. I still have the same amount of responsibilities, the same amount of pressures, but I myself as a person feel like I've really just been on a journey on this trip. And it's been so cool being able to vlog it and bringing you guys along with me, but it's also gonna just be so cool, hopefully to look back on this trip as a huge turning point in my life because that's what it kind of feels like. So maybe your ears are red, you're so hot. And you guys are just like here to witness it, which is just the coolest, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just rambling now. I feel good, you know, I feel real good. Where I'm not trying to trick my brain into thinking that I need to just let go of stuff to be happy, I feel like I've just kind of let go and I just am. I just am. That's a really good way to put the way I feel right now. I just am. Anyway, I'm gonna start cooking us up some dinner and then we're gonna have, um, I guess, a candlelit reading night, chill in that hammock because that also looks incredible. So I hope you guys enjoyed camping and then glamming with Bentley and I in this part two of BC. If you guys didn't see part one, definitely go watch it. I will pop it up on the screen or link it down below. All right, Bentley, say goodbye. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Everywhere I go, I hear voices in